It's so, it's so fast. Oh yeah. Ah, great. I'm so glad. Hey, what's going on? This is Takuya here. Today, I'm gonna work on my React Native app. It has a serious performance program. Uh, it's affecting a lot of my users, so I'm gonna tackle it and make it blazingly faster. React Native is a framework that allows you to build native mobile apps with JavaScript and React. Using this framework, you can quickly build mobile apps that can run on iOS and Android, which is amazing, but uh, there's no silver bullet. Uh, React Native runs uh, JavaScript on JavaScript Core or a, a new JavaScript engine called Helmets. Uh, not a browser or Node.js. That means uh, you can't basically use uh, HTML5 APIs or Node.js built-in modules. Uh, you have to portfill them by yourself. In the early version of React Native, uh, there was no file reader API and Fetch API didn't support fetching binary data with Blob. So React Native is basically not good at dealing with binary data. And this is the big issue for my app. My app called Inkdrop is a marketing noting app that can sync node data across mobile and desktop platforms safely with end-to-end -end encryption uh, while supporting attaching images. And the mobile version is built with React Native, but it has a significant performance issue in processing data, especially images, which is reported on the user from here. Uh, if you have some images like screenshots in and out, the mobile app takes a long time to load them or eventually hangs up. It's so frustrating. Thank you for reporting, Marco. Well, why does it happen? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, ReactNet doesn't provide Node.js native modules uh, such as crypto. So I had to implement the end-to-end -end encryption process all in JavaScript, which is terrible at uh, performance. And specifically, <laughs> I'm using RN, RN Nodify and React Native Crypto, polyfilling some of the Node.js modules uh, to accomplish the encryptions. But it turns out that uh, these polyfills are so slow when processing large data because they are written in pure JavaScript. Uh, to solve this issue, uh, I decided to make a native implementation of AESGCM, which is one of the encryption algorithms that Inkdrop uses for the end-to-end -end encryption. For iOS, uh, Apple provides a framework called CryptoKit, uh, which is available from iOS 13. And thanks free, uh, they provide an example code so I can quickly understand it. On the other hand, uh, for Android, there is a package called JavaX Crypto. JavaX crypto <laughs> and GCM parameter spec class is available from Android 19. I found an example code on GitHub here. Looks nice. So well let's hack it. I built a native module for AES GCM crypto for both iOS and Android. Here is the iOS implementation. Uh, this is written in Swift. The module has methods uh, named encrypt and decrypt that accept data in plain text or base64 encoding. And here is a helper extension for converting hexadecimal strings to or from NS data. And this file defines bridge functions to export them to the JavaScript side. Pretty neat. And here is the Android implementation. I'm writing Cotton for the first time, by the way. It's way easier to write than Java. I like it. Uh, as you can see, uh, the module also has encrypt and decrypt methods that accept data in plain text or base64 encoding as well. And there are also some extensions to deal with hex strings and looks good. And here are the JavaScript functions defined in TypeScript. It's quite easy to use. Uh, all you have to do is simply import this module and call encrypt method with a key and print data you want to encrypt. Uh, then you'll get a sealed data, something like this. Uh, it comes with encrypted content and initialization vector, so-called nonce, and uh, authentic authentication tag. 
to decrypt it, uh, you can simply call the decrypt method with the key encrypted data, uh, initialization vector, and uh, authentication tag, uh, printing it. Now, I confirm that they correctly encrypt and decrypt the data both on iOS and Android. So I'm gonna make a quick benchmark test so that we can check how fast the native implementation is than the current JavaScript implementation on each platform. I made a simple benchmark test app. This process, uh, this process is a, a 13 kilobyte PNG image, uh, which is base64 encoded. It encrypts this image and decrypts it back thousand times, and it measures how long it takes. And uh, here is the test uh, using the current JS based implementation. It runs encryption and decryption a thousand times as well. Uh, let's see how fast the native version. And uh, here are two buttons, and this one runs with native implementation, and this one runs with JavaScript implementation. So I'm gonna uh, run first uh, this JavaScript implementation. Let's see how fast the native implementation. Okay, so I push here. Let's go. Okay. So it looks slow, uh, as, as expected. <clears throat> so it takes time to finish a thousand times iteration. Okay, it took uh, it took 167 seconds. So let's try a native implementation. Okay. Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so fast. It, it took only uh, three seconds <laughs> to finish a thousand tensions. Oh. It's fantastic! Oh yeah! Ah, great! I'm so glad! Yeah. Uh, here is the Android phone, and I'll test it on it as well. First, I'm gonna run the JavaScript implementation. Yep. So it's slower than the iPhone, uh, because you know, this Android phone is kind of old. Okay, finished. Uh, it took uh, 208 seconds to process a thousand times. Okay, let's try a native implementation. Yeah, it's fast. Great. <laughs> yeah, it took uh, 18 seconds, so maybe 10 times faster, about 10 times faster. That's great. Yes, so I'm happy with this result. It will greatly improve the data sync performance and I can't wait to release this improved version. And I published this native module on GitHub and NPM module as a React Native AES DCM crypto. So you can use it for your project. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace.